Hello everyone, James here from beginners.co.uk and today I'm going to be talking to you about Zamanta, a plugin that you can download for WordPress and it will actually help you improve your articles as you write them. So as you can see, I've installed Zamanta already, I'll show you how to download it in a minute. Um, and it's appeared here to the right of my content editor. Um, it doesn't take any logging in at all, it just appears here and it will update itself as you write. So in my editor here I've got an article about uh, stock images and once I've typed this in I simply hit update here and the content will actually refresh uh, to bring up relevant images and links depending on what's in the article. So you can see here that I've got a few images all relevant to stock images. You can see I've got a few um, logos, a few screenshots, and a couple of stock images there. And to put these images in your post, uh, you can see the content, the um, license beneath the image. You simply just hit insert into post and it will actually put it in with a caption and credit for you. And then you can change all the options here to the right and it just makes inserting images really easy. So there we go, I've just inserted that image and I could go ahead and set another image as the featured image just like that. Now another feature of Zamanta is the in-text links and they appear at the bottom here just below the editor and what they do is they look for relevant content in your article and they'll appear at the bottom and what you can do if we look at this infringing copyright text that I've written here if I go ahead and hit this link here it will automatically link this to the content displayed here so as you can see here that it's actually linking to a, word, a uh, Wikipedia article on infringing copyright and you can quite easily apply this to all the links in your text and that will go ahead and put them all in for you obviously some of these like post-it notes are uh, not really relevant to stock images so I probably won't want to put that in um, but it does seem to work quite well you can see I've got stock images, royalty free, Flickr and a couple of others there now the other thing on Samantha is the related articles here and what this allows you to do is simply add related articles to the end of your uh, article that you're actually editing so if I go ahead and insert, you can insert just as text or insert with image it will go ahead and format this for me in my article and then that will build up a number of related articles for readers to uh, go ahead and carry on reading about and removing them is just as simple as a click you can also insert them just as plain text as well the Zamanta plugin also makes it really easy to add tags to your post as well um, based on the content that you've written it will suggest some tags here for you and you can go ahead and add these one by one and they'll appear in your tag section or you can just hit apply all and it will add them all for you which uh, makes making tagging your posts really easy now if you if you think this could uh, help you with your article writing and you want to download it you can simply go to your WordPress plugins page search Zamanta and hit install and that will go ahead and install onto your WordPress for you and you don't need to set anything up, you can go into the settings if you need um, but all the default settings are perfectly okay and you can just go ahead and start creating straight away or you can go to zamanta.com and there's a number of browser extensions available and 
When you download a browser extension, uh, the Zamanta content editor will appear whenever you start creating an article with any of these uh, blogging platforms, which is quite convenient. Or you can just go ahead and install them straight away onto your uh, blog using these links here. And that is Zamanta. If you've used it or if you start to use it, let us know in the comments and we'd love to know how you get on.